Count down. Okay, uh, so uh, welcome to the uh, Buildings and Facilities meeting for the Jones Library. The meeting is being recorded. Um, so uh, seeing a quorum, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call the meeting to order at nine o'clock. I'm gonna perform a sound check to ensure that everyone can be heard. Um, and so I'm gonna do a roll call. Um, George Hicks. Here. Farah Amin. Here. Sharon Sherry. Here. And Alex Lefebvre, I'm here. So um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to this Zoom meeting that can be found on the public meeting calendar of the Town of Amherst website or by dialing in by phone. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the posted agenda by raising their hand. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Okay, with that business out of the way, um, first item on the agenda is approval of the meeting minutes for um, March 15th. Except none of you have them, so that'll have to be next time. Oh, see, I have them because I wrote them, so I didn't even like, <laughs> it didn't even occur to me to look. Oh, good. Never mind. Okay, so item uh, number two, or I guess three, is public comment. We have one member of the public attending. Uh, if they would like to speak or provide a comment, now would be the time to raise your hand. Not seeing a hand, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next agenda item, which is the North Amherst Library Building Project Update. Yeah, so I'm excited to say that a contractor has been chosen and contract documents have been signed. Uh, we're expecting a June uh, 22 start date. There will be a, a, a ribbon cutting, grand opening, groundbreak, groundbreaking, that's the word, groundbreaking ceremony uh, to be announced. You know, Paul is taking care of that. Um, the project is expected to take between 10 and 12 months now. Um, and the library staff uh, only need a week to close and to move everything. Um, and so the only difference from before is we'll be doing our interim lo location for this next year in uh, a space in the mill district. The uh, mill district has agreed to donate the space to the town, which is super awesome. Hashtag mill district. Um, I think uh, so. Regarding the the the, the library space, uh, both um, the architect and Guilford Mooring have assured me that we will be getting a closet in the front entry space where the stairs going downstairs used to be, as well as a little um, stand up computer nook in that front space and um, a couple of desks for the, the staff. So um, so we're happy. And uh, that, that's pretty much all I have to share right now. Thanks, Farth. Uh, do, do you know what space it is, Sharon? I don't know the number, like I don't know the address. Uh, okay. No, uh, and what was next door? Um, the vintage clothing shop was next door. What's it oh, called? The closet. The closet. Okay. Yep. Which, by the way, plug for the closet. She's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag the closet. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. So, Sharon, since we have the um, the closet and the stand up computer nook, are we? I know at one point we were possibly going to lose three or four hundred books if we weren't able to do like an end cap on a debt. Like, is that? Did we? Are we want, are we able to maintain the collection or yeah or, I don't I don't know okay don't, uh, yeah or with all with all of the changes and staffing that have been happening and now that we know that this project is going to take up to a year um, we're not in super hurry to figure it all out yeah. okay okay George um just a couple of questions regarding the space um is any Buddy, is the town going to provide any shelving for the interim location or are we just going to bring over what we can or do we know anything about that part of it? You know, as much as I know, I know nothing. <laughs> I don't know. You know, we met with we met with Guilford and 
to be determined. Okay. The, the original timeline we had talked about was moving out end of May. Obviously that's not happening. So do we have a new timeline for when we think we're packing up? Not yet, okay. Well, I'm on vacation until the 8th, so it won't be before that. <laughs> Yeah, we we have we actually asked that they wait until July, but the contractor was um, eager to begin sooner than that. So they'll be, you know, starting on some of the the, um, the site work uh, uh, to the north of the buildings. That so it won't affect the library. Um, and so once George comes back from vacation, we'll be able to um, finalize more of those details. Okay. So, um, Sharon, so who manages the, the move? Is it the town? Is it the library? Or is it uh, together? Hmm. I... The town. Okay. Oh, okay. We have a seat at the table, but um, it's not our table. So when we have the library, the Jones move, the town will manage that as well? No, that's different. That's us. I mean, it would be the building committee, which is a town committee, but we'll, there's more, there's more of 50, 50% 50 partnership in that table. Does that make okay. sense? Yep. As opposed to this table is not ours at all. Yeah. Thank you. Also it's, the, not, also it's a the, town building and a town project. So we just happen to be housed in the building that's being renovated and expanded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's one of the bigger di big differences between the projects because the Jones project Jones project actually has funding allotted for moving and relocating, whereas this project does not. Yeah. yeah. Any other North Amherst comments, questions? Uh, and then next up is the Kestrel Land Trust proposal. I so I just want to say I'm not sure. Who of you were there? I know George was, uh, knocked it out of the park. It was um, a really great meeting. Uh, Jane Bryden from the Kestrel has been incredible. And uh, it's a go. It's a go. Uh, and again, I, I have no more specifics. Uh, Jane did say to me that um, it, it, when they're going to come in and, and do the root pruning, they're going to let me know so that I can let our staff know, hey, it's okay that people are out back doing things to the plants. Um, I'm expecting that will have that work will happen soon. Um, so I, that's all I got, but it's great news. Yay. Great. And the trees are tagged, right? I mean, I know when I walked through the garden I expected to see more tags, and so I haven't counted them. So the only reason I, I, I say I expected more is I don't know if they're all tagged. Maybe the ones that are going to be pruned are tagged. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, are we, are we going to have a 10-minute meeting? <laughs> Fastest <laughs> meeting ever. <laughs> I don't think we, I don't think we have anything else, right? Because everything else is really under 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 the the, the town committee at this point. Um, yeah, I, I mean, as you guys know, we have to we have to set the agenda for these meetings and post these meetings quite a bit in advance. And I'd rather put things on the agenda to be able to talk about it. And so sometimes when I we post the agenda, we think we will have more details than we do. So that's why. George? Um, I just want to like a new agenda item. I just wanted to mention that the air conditioning is scheduled to be turned on on May 31st, which is the day after Memorial Day. Um, as some of you know, the changeover process to turn on the air conditioning is always a bit stressful and a day long process. And we never really know if we're going to be dealing with any kind of equipment breakdowns or anything like that. So crossing fingers, everything goes well, but thankfully we have cooler weather this week than we did this past weekend. Thank you. Yeah, cross the fingers, <laughs> May 31st. I think, I feel like at this point, we're lucky if it's only a one day process. We did not anticipate having to do this, but the project got pushed off. So yeah. fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah, well, it'll, it'll, it'll be nice when a town cooling station can actually be a, 
town cooling station, an effective town cooling station on hot days like we had. So that's something to look forward to. All right. Um, are you waving goodbye or, or raising? No, 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 I just had a quick question. <laughs> so is it is is this the same process like for Munson and the North Amherst Library too? Is it like a big project to get the air conditioning running or? No, no, those buildings are much smaller and much less complex. Uh, the Munson building, I can't really speak to because I don't recall what type of system they have for air conditioning, but the North Amherst building right now has a central air unit and it's just a simple matter of flipping a switch. Oh. Um, you know, we have the system checked out every spring before uh, before cooling season starts, but it's a much, much simpler process for both of those places. It's more like a house, right? whereas <laughs> this is just craziness. Like a factory. We have, we have multiple units. It's not just one. Right. <laughs> and in multiple levels of... And, and unique to this building versus the branches is that we have one or the other. Like yeah. if you change over to air conditioning and you get a super cold week, you can't turn the heat back on. The whole process right. would have to be undone. So it's one or the other. You know, ideally, so one of my dreams for the, the expanded Jones is to have a system that goes back and forth automatically. I look at my husband's you know, West Food Bank of Western Mass building. And I'm so jealous because that's exactly what it does. On a hot day, the heat, the cooling system is on. On a cold day, the heating system is on. It's so great. But I have found in my experience, one of the first things to cut during budget talks is that automatic uh, heating to cooling system. <sighs> Sorry, George. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be tabled for a different committee. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. All right, well, that was the world's fastest meeting, but if no one has anyone else, then uh, I'm gonna adjourn. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.